Hello. Good evening, everyone. I'm looking for you. Okay, there we are. Let me mute this. Okay, so can you guys hear me on YouTube? Oh, I got a notification that I'm live. That's a first. Yay. Okay, so um, you guys can hear me on YouTube. Perfect. Let me hop over to um, the other platform and just confirm that I'm live. Okay, so um, friends of mine, um, remind me to uh, share that those that are watching on Facebook, um, the interaction is over on YouTube. So I'm, I'm filming on both platforms, but the comments that I'm replying to are on YouTube. So if you want to participate in the chat box, hop over to YouTube, okay? Sorry, I can't, I don't, I think eventually I'll be able to see um, comments from both, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm still learning because they made some um, updates, but um, yeah, I don't know if I can see comments from both platforms. We'll see. Um I think it's just YouTube right now. I'm, I'm looking at all y'all's comments. So hello, everyone. Okay, so yes. Um, hello, thank you for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today is Tuesday, February 7th, 2023, and we are going to be making a cute card today. Um, I finally figured out how to put my um, camera. Let's see. I'm actually looking in the wrong place, so... Here we go. Here's my desk, and I'm going to put my face in the corner again. So they updated the software, and last week I couldn't figure out how to get my face in the corner. So I've it's back. It's working. So I'm going to move the, um, what is that, my keyboard out of the, off, off my desk. Okay, give me just a second. I'm sorry. I have such dry skin. Like, look, I've got like lines because my skin is so dry. That's because I laid in the sun. Don't be jealous in Aruba. <laughs> I came home to like 12 degrees. So it's like, ugh. okay, so a couple of things um, that I wanted to share with you um, is don't forget that the 14 days of love Tutorial bundle is only available until the 13th, and I'm just going to fan across so that you can see some of the ideas, um, but yeah, you have until the 13th, and then tonight, this is our project that we're making, and I wanted to share with you um, something that I started um, for 2023, because I know y'all like organization ideas. So this is my binder. Just ignore the dirt. Don't know how it got dirty. Um, and what I've done in here is so like this is last week's project. And this is your free printable that you can get over on my website. So if you've never, if you've never printed them, um, I try to do, a, I spend a lot of time creating these. I really do. I want them to look pretty. So this is last week's. And so it's three pages because it has a, a box template with it. If it doesn't have a box template, then it's only um, two pages, the supplies and the picture and the measurements. So I have these in my binder. They're in chronological order. So the oldest will be in the back. So this is last week's project. And then I have my quick and dirty template in there um, just in my page protector. And then this is the week before's project and there's the quick and dirty template. But you guys know that your real template is, is pretty. And then that's the week before. And then I include how I made that fun fold. Because sometimes I forget things, especially the older I get. And then the week before was this project. And the same thing, I have that uh, template in there. So I thought y'all would like to see. This is, uh, this is what I started in January. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how this is going to look. Uh, at the end of the year. Anyway, okay. I also have a divider where I have card club, 
for January and then Card Club um, for February. Okay, any questions about that before we start our, um, before we start stamping? So here's the card we're making. Isn't it so pretty? So let me tell you about this card. When we're designing for Card Club, we have cards that, that are um, exclusive to Card Club, and then we have a few cards um, that we share publicly so that our Card Club ladies will have more ideas. So you're getting six ideas because this is a bonus, but you're not getting the supplies. So I don't really like using the word bonus because you're not technically getting this in your packet, but it's a bonus tutorial. Does that make sense? Anyway, and here's the printable. The only thing that I have left to do is I have to change the link here because that would take you to last week's project. And then I need to replace the, the QR code with tonight's video. So this is what your PDF is going to look like tomorrow. Oh, it looks like my camera is a little... Let's see. Whoop, wrong way. Sorry. That's a little too much, isn't it? Or is it? Uh, sorry. Okay, how's that? Is that better? Is that better? Did I make it worse? Okay, I am rattling. And I forgot to put the measurements up, I think. Or did I? Nope. Okay, so here we go. Here's the measurements. And that will be on your free PDF tomorrow, okay? You can use your phone right now if you want and, and snap a picture really quick. Most of y'all can wait till tomorrow. Um, but if not, there you go. So I'm going to put this here. And then I've got all the supplies ready. Front row. I thought I muted all my notifications. Now I will. Somebody remind me to turn that back on. So we are using the Share a Milkshake Bundle, um, the dies and the stamp set. This item is still available right now. And Card Club ladies, you have to have this bundle to make your cards um, as, we sh uh, as, as we design them. Because I can't stamp and cut these out for you. Like all of these are stamped and then die cut. So I will be die cutting, well, this is not one of your cards, but if this was one of your cards, I would die cut this and I would die cut this border and then everything else you'd have to die cut yourself. So, cause we're not allowed to um, stamp and die cut images. It is not allowed by stamping up. Okay. Now we're going to stamp first and this is not enough paper to stamp on. So I've got more over here. You want your Stampin' Matte for this stamp set. It, it's a photopolymer and it prefers the Stampin' Matte. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that you guys like the PDF. Yay, I love it. Oh, and Robin says she loves the 14 Days of Valentine tutorial. Yay, that makes me so happy. We really tried really hard to make super cute projects. Okay, so we're going to start with the, can't remember the name of this thing. I'm just going to call it the milkshake. Um, what is that called? Parfait glass? Is that what it's called? Parfait? I know so many punches are gone. I'm so sorry. But you can still stamp the image in a circle or... Um, a rectangle or anything yeah so the this is it looks like polka dot but it's not polka dot it's little hearts and it's in the country floral lane designer series paper so it's our valentine paper this year it's a fabulous pack of paper and yes the punch is uh, on back order but you can still get the stamp set and still enjoy the paper and the stamp set yeah now oh and look I got this out because um, when I was making this project today, I this is one of my mug rugs, and um, I'm like, oh, the colors, the this is sweet sorbet, and I didn't even know it. I made this forever ago, but isn't that cute? I know Lane Swerve, <laughs> crumb cake ink, and now for the solid image, you're going to stamp off, okay? 
So I'm going to use a big old sheet of paper here and I'm going to use it to stamp off first. So I'm going to ink this up upside down. Yeah. And then I'm going to stamp it on my scrap piece. And then I'm going to stamp it on the piece I want. Okay? That's the image that we want. Then we're going to take the outline, or whatever you call that, and we're going to ink it up fully. And then I might have to stick my head in the camera. It's a little crooked, but it'll be fine, right? Okay, so now we have to stamp the scoops of ice cream. Yum. Sweet Sorbet ink. So Terry says that uh, she loves making mug rugs for the holidays. You know, I haven't made one in forever, but I want to make one now. Okay, so we need two ice cream scoops. The first one's going to be full on ink. So Sweet Sorbet ink. One, two, three. And then we're going to stamp another one. One, two, three. Okay, so there's our two um, scoops of ice cream. Then I'm going to use another scrap of paper to stamp the rest of the images. So we still need just, just two more. And I could technically make it fit on there, but I don't want to. Actually, we have three more. Well, mm, no, I'm going to use another piece of paper. The straw. The greeting. And the cherry. I know y'all were like, you are all over the place. I know, but I have lots of scrap. We started cutting for card club today. The supplies are not in, but some things we can go ahead and cut. And so we've, we have started that process. We have uh, 240 of this to cut. Um, okay, yeah, don't forget I do have chick candy tonight. So we are ready to die cut, I believe, right? Yeah, we've got everything? Yeah, okay. So we're going to move this out of the way, and we are going to get the stamping cut, stamping cut emboss machine. These are the dies that we're using. So this is the scallop contour dies, and this is the pen flower dies, and then the rest is the share milkshake. I'm gonna move that over so I don't damage it. Uh, let's see. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> Cliffy, what would you like to win? What did Denise say? I missed it. Um, okay. I will read the comments in a little bit. I don't want to mess up my card. So we're going to cut out the cherry. Oh, someone was asking. Yeah, a mug rug is larger than a coaster and it holds a snack. Uh, a snack and a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. You know, I made Brooke one when I first learned how to make them, and she still uses that thing. I'm so proud. Makes my heart happy. Oh, yeah, we have the spoon, too. And did I forget to get crumb cake cardstock? That's okay. I have crumb cake in here somewhere. Is this crumb cake? Nope. It's not. I might have to get up. Nope, I don't. Look, here's crumb cake. Yeah, we have to do the spoon. Okay. It's a good thing I looked up and saw the comments. What did I just do? Hmm. Did my uh, camera flicker? I cut my cherry crooked, but it's okay. It'll be fine. 
that's done. Then the straw. I think the straw is the hardest one, to be honest. It is the hardest. Well, maybe the cherry. None of them are hard, but it you have the potential of of um I got ink on that. Oh well. The little ones are so, so hard to see. Oh, Becky says the mug rugs are good for soup, soup bowls too. We're actually having soup tonight. David is up there making the uh, Pioneer Woman's chicken tortilla recipe, which is really good. Okay, we're going to cut the greeting. Uh, with, with just our paper trimmer. So now we're going to cut out the that thing, the glass. You know, I could cut multiple images out, but when I do that sometimes, um, sometimes I mess up. You know what I mean? Oh, I need to make some mug rugs to give away. Rut row. There it is. Oh, I cut it crooked. You know what? Let's see. I have another one in here. Let's try this one. I stamped one earlier today just in case I messed up. And look, I messed up. So let's see if we can get this one straight. I always say I can't cut a straight line with a ruler. It didn't slide. I just placed it on there crooked. The magnetic platform kind of keeps it. Oh, it, it, maybe it did slide because this one's going to be crooked too. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll have a crooked, crooked ice cream tonight. Now we're going to cut these scoops out ice cream when we were in Aruba I had gelato um, it was pretty good we had a uh, mint chocolate chip gelato okay Becky said what a great idea what's a great idea do you mean me doing a mug rug to give away you know Okay, it flickered again. I don't know why. My camera's flickering. I I think it's the big I think it's not the big shot because this is not the big shot. I think it's because of the um the movement from this machine. I have two more to cut or one more after this and then we'll be done. Oh wait, what's a funny expression? I'm missing all y'all's comments. Oh, <gasps> it flickered again. Grr. I don't know what's up. This is the last image I have to cut out, and it's not even an image. It's just the spoon. So, maybe I don't like this machine. Yeah, it's flickered three times. I'm just thankful that it's still live. I'm not even going to complain, right? Are you uh, back in the old days, sometimes if I was really loud, like if I clanked something really loud, a video um it would flicker or something. But I haven't dropped anything or been especially loud tonight, I don't think. I'll have to make some more um mug rugs. I haven't made one in forever and ever. Okay, let me get all my pieces in here. Um, which one looks better? They're both really crooked. That's okay. Whoever gets this card from me will still love it. Okay. These are the two pieces that I cut to make this but 
I'll show you how to do it, but I've done it in advance. So that's all you got to do. I cut this to measure the exact width of the card, which is four and a quarter, and then I place this on the stamping cut and emboss machine and just cut it right there. So it's four and a quarter by like one inch, and then you just cut there, and you want to center it, okay? So I've already got those pieces here, so I don't need that. I wanted, I wanted to explain how to make it, but I don't want to keep y'all here all night from for cutting stuff. Now, we've got to score this real quick at five and a half. So this measures four and a quarter by 11. And I'm going to use the light blade to score. I normally use my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, but I like switching things up, right? Rut row, I forgot the center of my card. Wait, hold on. Let me do this. The inside of the card is going to be four by five and a quarter. Okay, that's going inside. Now we're done with the paper cutter. I have a mug rug video, Beverly. Yeah, okay, so did I toss my sentiment? Oh, it's right here. I have a little secret to tell y'all. It's not really a secret because I've told y'all a bunch of times. The real reason that... I, <laughs> this is not the real reason. One of the reasons why... I'm going to go ahead and add this inside the card. Uh, one of the reasons why I film videos for my projects is so that I can make them again later because I have one of those memories that things just... Like, I've made projects before that I could never tell you how I made them because I didn't do a video. So when I learn how to make something, I film a video real quick so that I'll know how to make it again. So there was a, a bag that I made my downline for convention one year. I took them this really cute tote. And um, people have asked me how I made it, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I wrote it down and who knows where the piece of paper went. And like I really understand written stuff, I don't. So, yeah. I film videos so that I can remember too. <laughs> don't know what's, what's wrong with my brain, but yeah. And I've probably made, I don't know, over a thousand fabric baskets. But I still, I still have to sometimes refer back to my... Um, my video to make one if it's been a while and it's been a while because I've been making the drawstring bags okay so I just attached the um, paper uh, to cover the entire front of the card okay so now we're gonna attach these and I have three here but you only need two one of them was crooked it's that one okay so what we're going to do is attach the paper to that and we need our silicone craft sheet so that we don't get glue on everything. Okay, so I'm going to add the um, glue. Let's see, I'm going to add it to this part. I was thinking. There's that. And then now this one is going to go up here. I'm going to turn it around because it's a little bit easier this, this way. And I can tell my scallops did not... Whoa! Yikes! That was a lot of glue. Now I got glue on my fingers. And now I have it on my knuckle or my. <laughs> hey, I have something to tell y'all. So David always says that 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 me and my sister are like, you know, bulls in a china shop because we're so klutzy. We have like two left feet. Um so my sister, um, my sister's friend, uh called Kim a bath bomb 
And we're like, oh my gosh, that's so much better than, that's so much better than being called a bull in a china shop. I'm like, um, I I'm going to call myself a bath bomb now, right? <laughs> okay, so on this card, y'all going to be like, she has flipped her lid. Um, so on this card, the ribbon goes around the entire card. The other option that you have is you could wrap it around this one, this layer, okay? And hold on, let me get my ribbon exactly right. Oh, thank you, Ramona. Lots of people have uh, have won my bags. In fact, every most people, well, that's the only way you can get one is either you buy an adhesive bundle or you win one because I don't sell them. I make them as giveaways. Someone asked me the other day, they came over and I have a whole bunch of them um, in production on my kitchen table. Yes, if you walked into my house right now, my entire kitchen table is is fabric, um, is me working on baskets. Okay, this ribbon is just not going to line up. It will but I'm talking and yes I'm wasting because I'm filming sometimes you just need more when you're filming you know what I mean okay or maybe I should have just wrapped it around the, the whole card like the original card and then I wouldn't be doing this it is easier to wrap it around the whole card but okay hold on here comes my bow the bunny ears right My ribbon's twisted, but it's going to get covered up. That's going to drive me crazy. Even though it's going to get covered up, it's still twisted. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so slide it to the left. Okay, where's my scissors? Here they are. And then I'm going to trim the ends. It took me as long to tie the ribbon as it did to make the whole card, right? Maybe not. Now we're going to add this layer in the center, okay? And we're going to glue down that twisted ribbon so no one's ever going to know that I twisted it. And I think that's in the middle. Hopefully it's centered. It may not be. Oh, yeah. Sue Ann says, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Yes. Thank you. Please. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so now we can start building our... Which one looks better? I think they both look the same. No, this one looks better. We'll get rid of that one. So look, we need our dimensionals. And we do still have to cut um, our greeting. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to use my trimmer, my Fiskars trimmer, because we don't have a guillotine trimmer in, in our catalog. Oh, that was just my hand motion. And I'm going to go this direction and then this direction again. Our greeting is ready. So we're going to put two dimensionals on this one. Let's see. Let me get this over here. We're just going to add it right about there. It's not too noticeable, 
that it's crooked because it's on top of the white cardstock, right? Yeah. And then this one goes next. So we're going to put a dimensional. Now you might want to go ahead and add your, come here. Huh. Where's my silicone craft sheet? Here we go. So we want to add the spoon and the straw. Oh, I forgot my Wink of Stella. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there. Okay, then this one. I'm making both of them go through the same the same hole there. Ooh, I want a little bit of the spoon to show. Okay, I think that looks good, but we'll see. We might have to wiggle it around, but now we want to add our um, dimensional. And then this one goes under there. I hear Bella barking. There we go. Oh no, where's my cherry? Did I drop it? I probably slung it in the, oh, there it is. Thank you. I'm so glad I didn't have to stamp another one. See what I mean about saying a bull in a china shop? Okay, come on. Instead, bath bomb. I gotta hold that. I should have used a mini glue dot. So if you're adding the cherry, use a, hey, guess what? I still can, right? It's not too late. Mini glue dot. Take your pick tool. Thanks, Karen. I'm glad you like it. Okay. Now the cherry is added. And the greeting, we're going to place a dimensional right about there. Poor Bella is asking to go outside and David is upstairs why she came all the way down um, I have no clue she should have asked him instead she's asking me okay so now this is going to get added there and then we're going to add our embellishments so four dimensionals on here one in each corner you can also add one um, in the middle if you want I'm glad y'all like it. I love it. I love the colors. Now I've got to get, give me just a minute. I'm going to grab my uh, Wink of Stella. Hopefully I'm going to grab one that works. I need to get a new one. Um, and then my embellishments are right here. So solid faceted gems. And I'm going to add one right here, and then one up here, and then one up here. You could add more if you want. Um, and then we want to add our Wink of Stella to the ice cream. Yeah. Okay, what do y'all think? Now don't forget, don't run off. I have instant prizes and YouTube chip candy. Um, yeah, okay, so it's cute, isn't it? So pretty. So Lois says, thank you for the chip candy. You're very welcome. 
Yeah, you're very welcome. Okay, do y'all like it? So this one has the ribbon here, and this one I changed it up and added the ribbon just to this layer here. And now you don't see the ribbon. Okay, I want to show you the PDF again really quick, and then we're going to do some giveaways and some announcements. So this is the PDF that will be available tomorrow. It'll have um, the link to my blog, to the blog post, and then this QR code, you can watch the video with the QR code, okay? If you had a question tonight and I didn't see it, um, I'm going to put my email on the screen really quick. If you need anything, that's my email. And I will admit, I'm sorry, I am behind. Y'all know I got home at 2 a.m. last Tuesday, and then I spent the next three days in and out of the doctor's office. So I'm a little behind. If, you have, if I have not answered you, if you emailed me while I was gone or last week, Email me again. It will not offend me. I promise. Yeah. And again, I apologize. I'm I'm slowly but surely getting caught up. Okay, so announcement wise, our winner for last week, because I only I only did one um YouTube chick candy. I normally do three. Um I only did one last week, and our winner was let's see, where is it? Nope. That's the chick candy that's on my blog right now. I'll go ahead and show that to you. So this is the giveaway I'm doing this week. Uh, the details are on the screen. So February 6th through the 14th, you get one entry for every 25. And then you also get an entry for leaving a comment on chick candy 161 blog post. Let me take that off the screen. Well, I've I'm clicking all kinds of buttons here. So it's the Pretty Bird stamp set and the Birdhouse dies, a chick stand, and this fabulous drawstring bag. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I've made it, I made this one bigger, and the top of it is wider than my previous ones. So, like, look at the difference between these. Anyway, okay. So this is the chick candy that's over on my website. So I just told y'all how to enter to win. And then, um, where is my chick candy? You know what? I don't, I don't think I have it. Let's see, I already showed you that. Okay, this is my host code gift uh, for February 1st through the 15th. So if you place an order, uh, you can choose the Opaque Gems and Dandy Designer Series Paper Sampler. Or Stampin' Blends. Y'all been loving the Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to keep offering them until y'all tell me you're done. Um, let's see. No. Okay, I didn't bring it. Let me let me just hop over here real quick. Our winner for um, last week. You know what? I think I can actually pull it up. Because I, I know I saved it. Um. Here it is. Yes, Deborah Wilson was our winner last week. Deborah, if you're on here tonight, you're the one that won Real Red Burlap Ribbon, the Chick Stand, and the Pastel Sequins. So Deborah Wilson was our winner for last week. Okay, so now for this week, I have several things. Um, did I not make the flyer for it? I guess I didn't. I normally do. Um... So we have instant prizes, and that's what these three are. We'll be doing that next. For my YouTube chick candy, I have three prizes. And the way that you enter to win is you leave a comment on this video as soon as the video is over. So when I sign off, the comments section will pop up, not the chat box, but the comments, and you're going to uh, leave a comment to enter to win. I'm going to draw three winners, three names. So the first one is going to win this chick um, scenic garden stamp set. So that's number one. The second person is going to win this assortment of paper. So it's 10 packs of paper, textured shimmer, 
uh, flowers and more, favored flowers like an animal, vellum, vellum basics, delicate desert, ready to ride, day at the farm, dainty flowers, and dry brushed metallic. So the second person will get that. And then the third winner is going to get this um, drawstring bag and a chick stand. Now, whoever wins this prize, I know not everyone's into fabric and not everyone's into drawstring bags. If your name is drawn and you win this and you don't want this bag, it will not hurt my feelings. Just say, can I have designer series paper instead? So what I'll do is I'll just make up another sampler of this and you'll get paper instead. And I'll just re-gift this because there's lots of people that want these bags. So yeah, so if your name is drawn and you win this and you don't want it, just tell me to give you paper, okay? So I've told you how to enter to win that and I'll announce the winner on Thursday. Now we're going to do some instant prizes. And before I do this, I want to make sure that you guys know that it's going to be the number that I count and not the number that you count. If you count, if you double check my numbers, it's going to look like I, I, I counted wrong. I'm not counting wrong. It's, it's just the way that the feed is. So I've got the comments here. Oh, I just saw a, I can see Facebook comments. Marsha, you just left a comment on Facebook. Um, wow. That's amazing. That means I can. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get busy. The first prize is, they're all the same tonight. So this is Day at the Farm, Flowers and More, Dainty Flowers, and Favored Flowers. It's just an assortment of all of these. And like I said, all three of these tonight is, is the same thing. So what you're going to type in the chat box and so the way this is working guys is that some of you are on YouTube and some of you are on Facebook and now I can see the comments from both so I'm going to be drawing the comments from both platforms and it's going to go really quickly um, and the numbers are definitely going to be wrong because those on Facebook are going to have a different number than those on YouTube. I'm going to go off of this little system that I'm using that has all the comments. Okay, so what you're going to type in the chat box or in the comment section is you're going to type P as in Paul, 8, and I'm going to choose the 8th name. Okay, so the 8th name, P8. And it's going to go really quickly. I say that as I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, we've got one, two, holy smokes. Okay, so now there's definitely eight, so we can stop now. And like I said, y'all are not going to be able to du double check me because they're coming from both platforms. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. So Deborah Mackie, M-A-C-K-E-Y, you're the winner of the first one. Okay. Now we're going to type, I might get to the very bottom. I'm get, okay. So the next one is, you're going to type T- five as in Tom five and I'm going to draw the fifth name T five yes congrats Deborah T five I have glue on my pen okay so it's safe to say we have five um one two three four Five, Monica T A L B O T T. That's our second winner. Now we have one more, and this one is going to be C nine, and I'm going to draw the ninth winner. Cat 9, C9. 
I should put the card back up here so people can see it just in case they're happen upon us, right? Uh, C9, cat nine. Okay, I think we have nine now, so let me count those real quick. Let's see. I'm so happy that I'm getting comments from both platforms. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, Linda, L-Y-N-D-A-B-E-N-D-I-K. Congrats. So I need y'all's address. So these are our three, let me move this out of the way. These are our three winners. And I'm going to put up the, um, yes, my writing is awful. I have chicken scratch for handwriting. I need you to fill out this form and give me your mail and address. And if you can't find the form, which sometimes people can't, you're also welcome to email it at, to this email address, okay? Okay, there we go. Now, any last minute questions? I'm gonna see how far this thing will let me scroll back to look. Um, and if I, like I said, if I didn't answer your questions uh, tonight, let me know. Email me and I'll I'll try to answer you. Okay. Now I'm gonna look for questions. Um, let's see. Thank you. And y'all are very welcome. Just don't forget to give me your address, okay? Uh, lately, uh, y'all been doing a pretty good job of of emailing me your addresses. I think I'm just about one week behind on shipping stuff, so not too terribly behind. I will admit, my friend Diana is helping me with the shipping, so that's nice to have, right? She's helping me with cutting and with shipping. And now I'm going to scroll back and see if I can answer any of y'all's questions. Um, you're very welcome. Uh, is that little red riding hood on the fabric? It is. Where, where did I put that? If you're still here. Uh-oh. What did I drop in the floor? Oh, the chick stand. It is. I, I bought this fabric for Brooke. She did like a... I can't even explain what she did, but... Yeah, it is. There's a little wolf on here. Yeah, I have a lot of this fabric. I stock, I stockpiled it. Or I guess you could say I was hoarding it, right? Oh, I know there's something else I was going to show y'all. The new product that's going to be available in March. So for those of you that are still here, um, I still want y'all to purchase in February, please. Yeah, uh, but in March, we have this online exclusive product so it's not going to be in a catalog it's going to be only on our online stores and I did use the stamp set on um, Monday on my little y'all remember the little box I shared with y'all uh, on Monday so that was using this new irresistible bloom stamp set so there's going to be the stamp set there's the dies this pack of paper is fabulous uh, and y'all know, I don't really say fabulous if I don't really mean it. Um, I like I like the A side and the B side of most of these. Let me see. Let's sh show y'all real quick. Isn't that pretty? Okay, is that it? I think that's it. Or is it? I can't tell what I've... I've got my paper all mixed up. And then, oh, and I don't have the alphabet set in here. We have these three dies, not dies, embossing folders. So look at this one. Isn't that interesting? I like it a lot. Um, and then we have this one. That one looks like starfish to me. Um, and then this one. Yeah, so a three pack. And then uh, there's also this other paper that I'm really... Y'all know, I struggle with paper that looks like that. Um, I really don't know how to use it. But I love the stamp set. I love the embossing folders. I love the designer series paper and the dies. Oh, the embellishments. I had them right here. Where did I put them? Ah, I'll have to, oh, there they are.
here's the embellishments. What are they called? Did I open it? Oh, loose frosted dots. I like the pink ones. And that looks like a um, pretty peacock, right? Okay. The only thing I didn't, I don't have right here in front of me is the classic letter stamp set. It's in the other room, but yeah. So in March, but we're still fit in February, so yeah. But I wanted to show it to you because why not, right? Okay, I'm looking for comments again. I hope y'all are still there. I think y'all are. <laughs> Um, yeah, y'all are still there. I'm just scrolling back again, uh, looking, when is my next bingo? I am not going to schedule another bingo until my health is back where, um, where it needs to be because bingo is kind of a long day. Um, yeah, you know, maybe I should change it up a little bit. Yeah, I had to go on insulin. I hate saying that, but yeah, my, my A1C is terrible. My blood sugar is, it was at 454 on Tuesday a week ago. Yeah, it was awful. Not that y'all want to hear about all that. I don't even really want to talk about it. I'd like to pretend it doesn't even exist, to be honest. Yeah, no, I got to get my, I, I'm having to walk every single day. No more skipping any days. No more drinking wine and eating carbs. I'm, I've like, oh. Yeah, it's my own fault, right? Uh, does the alphabet have dies? It does not. Um, it's just a stamp set. Yeah. Uh, Ashley says she will watch watch the replay. She likes the card. Hi, Ashley. Um, can I read the new DSP colors? You know, are they on here? I'm not sure that they're on here. Let's see. I cannot. I'm sorry, Sue. I don't actually have them. They're not on the, um, they're not on this form. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they said, I mean, this one you can tell, this is soft sea foam. I believe we have some uh, colors that have retired that are coming back. So Pretty Peacock is one of those. Um, and I don't know if that means the colors coming back into our lineup or if it just means it's back in the paper pack. Does that make sense? Like this is February 7th. By March 1st, when this pack of paper is available, I, I will know more information. Okay, so again, oh, it is on the back. Okay, and it's not Pretty Peacock. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I cannot read that ant. That that font is actually smaller than an ant. I call that ant size font. Uh, Daffodil delight, flirty flamingo, lost lagoon, petal pink, pretty peacock, and soft sea foam. Did y'all get that? Daffodil delight, flirty flamingo, lost lagoon, petal pink, pretty peacock, and soft sea foam. Yeah. I feel fine now. Yeah, seriously. I, I don't feel bad. I uh, just have abused my eating and drinking. Yeah, but thank y'all. Yeah, I don't actually feel bad, um, which is why I could not believe that my A1C was 11 and that my blood sugar was 454. <sighs> Lost Lagoon is an old color that is coming back. Um yeah, Lost Lagoon is a beautiful, um, Lost Lagoon is like one of these colors. Yeah, we used to have it. In fact, I didn't even, I got rid of all my retired uh, colors. Those of you that have never had Lost Lagoon, if you weren't around when it was a color, you'll love it. Yeah, it, it, it's very close to like Pretty Peacock, right? Yeah, if I look at this pack of paper and I try to pick it out, you know, I would say, I mean, it's a, it's close because that is that pretty peacock or is that low? I think this is pretty peacock. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Becky, for those of you, yeah, so Lost Lagoon was blue in 2014. So thanks, Robin. I didn't know when it was from, but I know I got rid of all of mine. Uh, so Kim says that my screen is black. Uh, not on my end. Kim, uh, if you're on a, what device are you on? Hit Command R if you're on a Mac and Control R if you're on a PC and that will refresh it. Um, yeah, so like this pack of paper, I would say this is Pretty Peacock and this is Lost Lagoon. I loved, I loved it. Yeah. Okay, it's okay now. Good. Pretty Peacock is darker. Absolutely. Yep. That's why I think I think this page is a combination of Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. Yeah. Okay. What other questions do y'all have? Any other questions? Oh, it went black for a second. That is so strange. And I will be making the designer series paper chart, but it will be ready probably like the week before. March before it goes live on March 1st and I think it's again let me remind y'all this is like an online exclusive only so it's only going to be in my store in the online store my Stampin' Up! store um, not in any publication but I just and y'all know like I always say we have way too many flowers oops I dropped it but I love these flowers they're really pretty and I love the font and all the words. The stamp sets on the floor now. Sorry. Yeah, the two colors look uh, good together. Olivia is good. She is growing like a weed. You're not going to believe this. She'll be four months old. Is it five months old? She'll be five. I can't even keep track anymore. How am I going to ever keep track? She is 20 pounds. Can y'all believe it? she let me see if I have if I have um Brooke was sick this week and she stayed with so when I got home from Aruba Brooke was here uh house setting and what have you and um and she was sick and so I didn't want to get yeah I don't really have a good I don't have a good picture <laughs> they send me funny pictures of her like doing like doing uh bubbles you know, blowing bubbles with her, with her mouth. <laughs> I need to see her. Um, okay. I'm scrolling back for just a second to see if I missed any questions and then I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go eat my soup that my husband made me and I can actually eat it because it doesn't have any carbs. Um, okay. So tomorrow my blog post, I've already done most of it, but I'm not going to put it up until the morning. So it'll have all the information about how to make this card. Okay. Y'all have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Have a great night. Thank you.